All right, what's up guys? All right, so I'm gonna do an installation of a remote control kill switch. These are the part numbers, it's made in China, so it's gonna be hard to identify. It's a 200 amp with one remote key, no brand. Well, actually it has a brand, Dire Tech. I made a review of it, a quick review. So I'm gonna be installing it. I have the, I have the remote control. And this is where it comes with, like this. But I will be removing that because I don't like uh, these kind of clamps. I like the copper one. So I'm going to be removing that and put the other one. All right. So we're going to start installing it. Okay. So we have a beautiful 1973 Datsun 620 pickup. So this is where we're going to be installing the kill switch to. So we're going to start by removing the battery, so we can do that, we're going to remove it, then we're going to remove this one too, all the power to it, so we're going to remove everything that is here. So we're going to put it to the side and there you go. Okay. And I'm going to use this one too right now. That's the one I'm going to change. So, okay. So I'm going to remove this one because I do not like it. I'm going to go back to the copper ones. As you can see, they're very clean. They don't leave you that corrosive stuff. So, I'm going to remove that, and then I'm going to install that one here. So, this is how it's going to be. So, I'm going to get some pliers and put the nut in it and put it there. Okay, so, it's been, I, I changed my clamp for the, for the copper one. I remove, eliminated the one that came with and leaving my own copper one. And it's even better because it's kind of longer. So I have more space to work with under, uh, next to the battery. So it's good. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie them up because it's okay now to tie them up. So this is going to be, uh, for me, it's a 12 and that's a 10. So I'm going to go ahead and tie them up, tie them up, tight bolt up, and then I'll continue okay so I just tightened these up this one and that one so now the next step is connecting the positive the positive to activate it when everything is shut off this one is going to be connected to the positive so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these and put it there and then we'll continue. Okay. Pretty good. It's on. We don't need this stuff. Okay, so after the positive has been connected this is where all the car is going to be connected to so when you remove it and then I'm going to put probably a bigger washer to be able to hold all of these bigger loops okay so I found this bigger washer so I'm going to put it there and then I'm going to put everything back the same way it was and it's going to be very simple very simple procedure so I just got to make sure that none of these just start touching the other side so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and then tighten them up with the thing 
Let me see if I could do it with one hand. So I got this. I gotta get another washer. Okay, so I found another washer. So I'm gonna go ahead and tight everything up. Making sure that nothing's touching this side here, which is not. As you can see right there, it just looks like this cable is touching, but it's not. But I don't like the rubber. Oh, there you go. I just, just bend it a little bit and it's away. So we're good. It's, it's ready for, for tightening it up. Let's see if I can do these. So I tied them up. And that's it. Simple as that. Okay, it's been tied them up. Everything looks good. I'm just going to put a little bit of... Uh, protection for this cable because I don't like them when they're loose like that okay so I just put a little tubing protection for the for the positive so I tied it up with some zip ties over here and over here so it doesn't move it's very important that it doesn't move so now I was it's got a zip tie here and it's got zip tie there so it doesn't move and then also here so it's right there so that should be done but I forgot to tell you something this is how it comes from this is how it comes from from uh, the factory when you buy it right but I would like to have the extra protection which means if you run out of if you if you run out of um, um, if you run out of a battery on your remote then what you're gonna do if you're stranded so I, I came up with this two wires the one is gonna be over here and the other one's gonna be over here and you can bypass it by connecting a female with a male. So I'm gonna show you right now after it's done. Okay, so I just installed the extra protection, which one of them, like I said, one of them it's, it's a male and the other one is a female with some these connectors. And they are on each side, so this will bypass This will bypass the kill switch because I don't know how good of quality it is. I'm just barely, I just barely bought it and I just barely installed it. So if we connect these two together, it will cancel everything and your car will continue the same. This is a heavy gauge. I think this is like a, this is like a 10 or eight gauge. So it's kind of thick. So it will let you start your car. Okay, I don't recommend it. That's what they have. They, that's what they come up with. These very heavy wires, but this will start your car and they let you let you fix everything and start your car and don't have any problems. So I'm just gonna put a protection here and here, and we should be good. Okay, so for protection, I put another connector that will stop it from touching anything. So I'm going to put a little bit of a electrical tape. I'm going to put them together and I'm just going to hide them over there on the bottom where hopefully I'll never need them. Okay, so I'm about to be done, but I forgot also that I have my alarm, which is this one is also one of the simplest alarm, but it works very nice. It's just a positive and negative. So I'm going to create a cable to put it on the other side so this is this one's always going to be connected 
So I'm going to remove that nut and put it here. And then my alarm would always be with power. So this is a pretty pretty cool system because that that alarm mm. So that alarm works, uh, it goes off if of any movement. So uh, if somebody wants to open the hood to remove this, it, the alarm will sound. So, so I'm gonna bypass the kill switch and put it on the other side, the alarm. So I will be back. Okay, so I just installed the alarm on the other side. So this would always have power. So we're gonna confirm that everything works good. This is the alarm. There you go. There you go. So we have an alarm. And also we have a kill switch. We're gonna test for our final. Okay, so we're gonna test we're gonna test the kill switch and sure enough there is no power at all you can see nothing so we're gonna turn this baby on and we have power let's see if it works and voila it works fellas it's powering the whole car Just been sitting for a few days that's why I couldn't it's not enough gas but yeah it's powering everything fellas okay you want to see if it stops let's see okay I guess oh it's not on because it's it's continuous the, the battery it's it's continuous so okay so you, it doesn't work if you try to turn it off. Okay, we'll turn everything off. Okay, now it will. There you go, see? No power. Turn it off. There you go. And everything is good. All right, fellas. Great, great kill switch. Remote control. So, already, it was a fun project, easy, affordable, less than 20 bucks, and Temu, not sponsored. All right, fellas.